Hi guys, welcome to my channel, ACL Surgery. Uh, I thought I'd do a video on the things I wish I knew before I had ACL surgery, aka what to expect when you're expecting ACL surgery. Anyway, um, I moved from the couch. <laughs> Because I have somebody doing work for me on the house. So I got up off my ass and I moved. And I'm up in a room that's very high. See? Here's my view. It's outside. I live in a really nice hood. Top of the road. Anyway, so the things that you should know. Oh, my crutch is falling. Okay, that's one thing you should know. Freaking crutch. Never stays where you put it. Look at it. And it's about day 16, I think. Hope I don't fall out the window. I'm going to need surgery again. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah, that's one thing. Like, you put your crutch down. I didn't realize those things. I never stay. And, um, like, I'll go to a restaurant or whatever and I'll just plunk my crutches up there. And then they'll slowly kind of bend. This one time this lady's like, oh, my God. Here, sorry, I I touched your crutch because I, it's falling and I, oh, it's okay. I'm like, it's not a Harley Davidson. I don't care if you take my crutch and throw it to the other side of the room. I don't care about those things. <laughs> people are really... Okay, this is one thing you should know. People are, like, really nice to you when you're hobbling around on crutches. It's, like, crazy nice. Like, I'll be, like, crutching them along and trying to open a door. Although I look super incarnated. People, like, come up to me and they're like, Oh, my God, can I get the door for you? I'm like, oh, my God, thanks. Or if you're carrying something, people will be like... Do you want me to carry that for you for your car, to your car? I'm like, oh my god, yeah, thanks. Like, people are so nice to you when you're on crutches. I don't know when I am get off them. I don't know. It's going to be hard to get used to that. Anyway, I wrote some notes. So I didn't want to forget things. <sighs> some really important things I wish I did know before. Okay. I didn't write this down. This is the most important thing. Food. Make sure before you go for surgery, you um, make a big pot of chili or lasagna or something and then just put it in your freezer and then take things out the night before. Unless, you know, you have someone's going to be with you, like a parent or a spouse or something, and they're going to actually be feeding you. Because when you're hungry, you're hungry all of a sudden. Like, um, I did lose weight. I'm sure a few pounds of muscle, but um, I, th I think I lost some weight because I just wasn't hungry for a long time. I'll be sitting on the couch, laying on the couch and re relaxing and the kitchen's too far away. So I just won't eat. I'm not even that hungry anyway, because I was used to being a total athlete. I think everybody who has torn their ACL is an athlete. So this is for athletes. Um, I don't think anybody's ever torn it just from living life and vacuuming or something. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, be prepared to not be hungry. You're going to lose your appetite. I'm, I'm a skinny legend now. Like I see at the beginning of my videos, I got a bit of a gut. And now, no, not at all. See? No gut. Um, this is what happens. You're not hungry anymore. So, but have food prepared for when you are hungry. Because you should be eating as healthy as you can. Okay, the other thing is, um, sometimes people bleed after. And I wasn't prepared for that. I'm like, why is this bleeding through my gods? I got a picture of it. I don't know if I can know how to put it, edit it in there. If I do, I will. But, um, it bled through the gauze and through the bandage and all that. And I'm like, what do I do? So the next day, it was like day two. So I just nipped to emergency and went, hey, is this normal? It's bleeding. They're like, yeah. And then they just rebandaged it. <laughs> 
and it slowly stopped bleeding after that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go to a more comfortable chair. So, um, be prepared for that. Oh my, oh, and then when the nurse called me 10 days later, she's like, have you gone to emergency and got your bandages changed? I'm like, why would you know? It's just because it's happened so much. I didn't know that. I thought I was just like a bit of a freak. Oh, there goes my crutch. Um, okay, the other thing is, before your surgery, make sure you have enough pillows. Because I wasn't really prepared that I needed, like, that many pillows. I need, you know, one for your head and at least two for your legs. Maybe three. Have that. And, and just, you know, lay in bed and see what it's like to as if you do have the surgery to see how comfortable you can make yourself okay restrictions after i already said that about the food your crutches you're on crutches for a time um like some people are like oh like i was kind of walking around without my crutches and then um uh, my physio was like no don't walk around without crutches you're just um making the bend of your leg more normalized. <sighs> Annoying. So now I'm back on crutches. Um, time of year. Like, if you can choose the time of year to get it done, like, I don't know why people would do it in the summer because that would just be depressing. <laughs> oh, everybody's out. Like, I'm sure, like, everyone, I on the mountain bike uh, trail right beside me, and I see everybody out riding and stuff but it doesn't really bother me because i'm like well i'm recovering but if it was sunny out it would bother me because i'd be like oh, i need to go swimming after i need to i don't know i would just get more irritated and um just go do, like so i did it like um october 18th right after the summer um physio okay get physio before go to physio before your surgery um, unless you're like doing your sport still, like with me, um, I was on crutches when I first did this for like maybe a week or so. And then I was back to mountain biking. And so my leg was super strong going into it. But, um, if your leg is a little bit weak and you're about to get surgery, go to physio first and get that thing stronger if you can. So when you come out of surgery, your, your leg's not so bad off. Like my physio yesterday, the one I kicked in the head, watched the video before this. Um, he's like, oh my God, your vastus medialis is like, it's really, it's well developed. I'm like, yeah, because I prepared for this surgery. I, um, I did a lot of mountain biking, so I wouldn't be so weak after. So I think it helps. Like I'm trying to regain my muscle strength now and... There's still muscle there from before, but so I'm doing that. So, I mean, if you don't know how you're, you can't say you're a soccer player, you can't play soccer, how else are you going to strengthen it? You know, you can go to the gym, but if you're not sure, just go to a physio and be like, look, I'm getting surgery. What do I, what do I need to strengthen up? Hit your quads. Really get those strong. Um... Anyway, uh, and I didn't know, like, book yourself a massage about a week after surgery. I didn't know massage would be so helpful, but, oh, my God, when you're trying to um, strengthen your leg after, you know, not using it for, like, a week or whatever properly, your muscles get so sore. I did not know that. And the massaging helps so much. Nobody, nobody ever talks about go to massage after physio or after ACL surgery. They talk about only physio. So get a massage. It's freaking awesome. Um, if you have goals to recover, which I think we all do, you'll recover faster. Okay, I didn't know my range of motion was going to be that bad. <sighs> It's a huge thing to work on. Um, so, I don't know. It looks pretty straight right now. After it was forced by the physio yesterday. 
I know I kind of lost him, lost it on him a bit, but that's to be expected. It was actually really sore last night. Like I couldn't sleep in the middle of the night. I'm like, oh, my muscles are sore. Not, not my knee. Okay. And the pain. Okay. Everybody wants to know about pain. Of course. Is there pain with ACL surgery? Um, for me, just when I woke up from recovery, I'm like, ow, oh, it was like a, a nine or so. And I told the recovery nurse, so she just kept putting drugs in my IV until it was a zero. And then I didn't feel pain after that. Like I went off like day one, day two, day three, day four. Only time it hurts is when some physio who will remain nameless presses down here and makes my knee go backwards. It's the only time I feel pain. It's the only time I've ever felt pain. I was scared about it. Um, do you feel sick after ACL surgery? Uh, no, not if you take gravel with your morphine. That's the thing. Like I had knee surgery before on my other knee and um, they give you morphine when you're coming out of surgery, when you're recovering, but they also give you a little gravel to go with it. They just put it right in the IV. So I, I've seen a bunch of ACL videos and people are sick that day because of all the drugs. I'm like, oh my God, I do not want that. So I just said to um, my surgeon, can I get some gravel with every drug that you give me? Because I do not want to feel sick. So I think he does anyway. <laughs> and I had ACL surgery hamstring graft. The other thing people always talk about is like, oh, they took a piece of my hamstring tendon. And so it'll always be weak. The hamstring tendon grows back. So that's friggin' awesome. I can't imagine thinking I'm missing my hamstring tendon. Ugh, that would suck. Okay. Um... Oh, driving. Everybody wants to know what can I drive after. Because if you had your right leg done, I don't know how long it'll take. Maybe two months or something. I don't know. That's, that's bad. Most people seem to rack their left ACL. That's better. Because, like, I didn't drive for about a week, but I could have. I'm like, what am I waiting for? Once I start driving, your left leg doesn't do anything. Um, as long as you're not on drugs. Like, don't drive if you're on some kind of painkiller or something. And you're all woozy. But other than that, yeah. It's fine. Um, you can also go to your doctor and actually just phoned my like regular GP and asked if he can fill out a form that I could pick up to go get um, a handicap sticker. So he did that. So I've used it like twice. Normally I'll just like in where I live, we don't parking's not an issue, but I just want to be as close to wherever I'm going as possible because ugh, crutches are a pain. So anyway, and I just got a temporary one. So that is helpful. Oh my God. And the biggest thing is everyone's like, oh, I haven't seen one person talk about having a damn bath. Makes me so mad. <sighs> have a bath. Forget it. Everyone's like, okay, you can't have a shower for like day seven or whatever. Like. Ease your ass into the bath. I've got a video about how to ease your ass into the bath. Okay, if you don't have a bathtub, sucks to be you. I guess you got to put a chair, a, a chair in your shower. But most of you have bathtubs. Get in the tub, and you just put your leg out. I got a whole thing on that. I don't like the whole. Th Everybody's asking, when can I have a shower? Lay in the tub. Relax, get your ass in the tub in day one if you want. Just don't get your knee wet. Just keep it out. Makes me so mad that nobody's ever, ever, like, doctors are like, okay, you can't have a shower for a long time. You gotta wrap your leg, dip your ass in the tub, and then put your leg on the side. So easy. This is a cute pink chair. Anyway, um,.
those are the important things to know about ACL surgery. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> Have your physio, go to a physio beforehand, ask him what muscles you need to strengthen if you don't know. And he'll show you which ones. Or just go to the gym and work your quads, work your thighs, work every muscle in that leg, work your butt. Um, but I think that's it. Anyway, if you have any questions, just ask down below in the comments section. Um, usually I put a video up and then somebody hits report, report. Must have some hater out there or something. And so then um, it goes off. I turn it off actually. I'm like, well, I'm just going to turn it off for privatize it for a couple days while they um review it and make sure it's good because it's always fine there's no porn or anything going on here and um then uh it goes back on so if you're wondering why a video disappears every once in a while that's why it's so dumb <sighs> but yeah if you don't have a lot of help and you have to do things on your own, you have to um, prepare beforehand. But yeah, so make sure you have gravel at your house in case you feel sick, just take a gravel, don't throw up. Take a gravel, way more fun. All right, well, good chatting with you. And uh, like and subscribe if you want. And uh, I think I'm on date like 15 or 16 or something. Talk soon.